Okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, talking about uh, the deployments of Carbon in, in a large public institution uh, in France. So <clears throat> wait a minute. I need to find my yeah. Um, <clears throat> so we have deployed the Colabora nine. Um, many times and uh, to some large public institution, yeah. Uh, and I would like to share with you three examples and to see uh, what were the context, the similarities between the context and the goals uh, and how we help, uh, how Collabor Online and Arawa help to achieve these goals. <laughs> yeah, the three examples here, well, here they are. So the first one, is a ministry, Ministry of uh, Ecology. Um, <clears throat> 25,000 users, so um, yeah, a rather large ministry, number of users. And um, the second one was the university, the University of Lille in the north of France, a uh, rather large one also, uh, 65,000 users, uh, including uh, 67 students and many research units. Uh, and the third example is this, uh, what we call in France as this. It, it means um, a firefighter's organization uh, for a given geographical area. So uh, 5,000 firefighters. And uh, there is some uh, similar context between these three examples, many users, but uh, different jobs in, in, the, in each organization and different business cases. Uh, and also many offices over a large geographical area. Uh, and particularly for the ministry and the firefighters, but also uh, in the, about the university, obviously uh, the students and the teachers have to be able to, to work at home. So it's a kind of a, a remote uh, offices. So the, the context where we yeah, are uh, very similar finally. The goals also were uh, similar. My, the first one is security. So they want to keep control of the data, obviously. Um, and uh, they want to know where the data is and uh, how it is processed. And they want to control also the service. For example, they want to control to, to know um, the users allow to use the software in relation with the directory and the authentication system. And they want even to control the, the version of the software uh, proposed. So that's uh, another point. And quite simply, they want to connect uh, people and uh, so that can, can work together. Uh, uh, everybody with the same tool, it's important, for example, for the students. Uh, and uh, to work on uh, access control documents. An important point also is whatever the document format. So our clients here want to be able to accept and manage uh, ODF document and also open XML document. So, uh, and obviously uh, the people uh, have to be able to work at distance. Uh, at home, for example, it, it was very convenient uh, this uh, these two years uh, because of the of the COVID, obviously. So, goals, general goals, very similar also with these three institutions. So. Uh, our clients looked at different software and chose Collabor Online, uh, by the way, with Nextcloud. And 
and why? <clears throat> First of all, because it allows people to edit documents when they want, where they are. That's okay. Whether there was a device used, I mean uh, desktop and mobile. By the way, it's it's new for for many users the the ability to work uh, with their mobile phone uh, is new. Uh, so that's a, a benefit from this kind of service for for them. And also, uh, they have to be able to work uh, whatever the uh, office software used, not online, the office software used on the desktop, uh, because some of them are using MS Office and others uh, Lib LibOffice. So they want to be able to, uh, to work with the software here on the desktop and collaborate online on the web and on the mobile. By the way, in these three cases, the first ID uh, so far is to keep the uh, office suit on the desktop. They don't want to to um, to keep only one office online suit, but maybe in the future. But that's not not the case now. Uh, an interesting point here: there is no local documents. I think all the uh, everybody knows that, but uh, that's an important point because um, I, I discovered that some years ago. The main interest is not to edit simultaneously a document with several users. Uh, is there is another pain point uh, for users using a file server with the lock. So the main interest is to edit document by several users when they want. When they want is a, is a key point. So, uh, so two other advantages, a comprehensive set of features, yeah, because it's very complete also uh, already, and also uh, a good scalability. So for this big institution, the ability to host more users, simply adding another node, another server is very interesting. So, how will help? Uh, first of all, we help about high availability, high availability and scalability. We help customers to design and size the architecture. Uh, we optimize the configuration. Uh, so that's the technical part of the project, but also we have another skills uh, and uh, we like to help users. We work on UX, uh, configuring cool, talk about online, talking about menu or ribbons. It's uh, always the same question. Uh, and uh, how to manage track changes, how is it interesting to add templates, how uh, obviously it, it is interesting. So that's a, how to adapt the service uh, to the user's need. And we create a user's guide also. We can advise about uh, best practice for document convention, doc document conversion and document uh, creation also. And we can also train the trainers and the support team to on these topics. Okay. And then the result. Um, yeah, it allows to control you know, the information system, the data, the service, as, as I said. And so uh, it's a way to control the, the destiny. Uh, to, it's a way for our customers to control their destiny. Uh, obviously, the, the goal is to the customer satisfaction that we have. I participate uh, to some. Um, uh, conference, uh, for example, from the Lille University talking to other uh, universities, and they were very satisfied with Collabor Online. Uh, and also, uh, I like to mention that uh, Arawa is satisfied also, and that's uh, important for us, obviously, and we are proud to contribute to this uh, ecosystem. <coughs> yeah. That was my my last my last slide. I don't know if there is question about that. Thank you, Philippe. That's uh, well, very encouraging, of course. Uh, do we have questions then, um, Petru? Or no, no, no. I was. I have a question. If, if yeah, not, go ahead. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. 
So I just wonder if you if you could tell us, uh, Philippe, some of the more important features and, and requests that you've been sort of uh, you know you've asked for and seen implemented in the last uh, last little while um, as we work together. Uh, the most important features in Colabo Online, obviously. Sure, sure. You, you, if you want if, to... Yeah, good question. Uh, there is not only one because, as I said, there's different jobs or business cases. Uh, uh, in each organization. So uh, the collaboration features are very important. Uh, track changes, as I said, uh, comments, mm -hmm. uh, that's an important uh, feature because of the collaboration goals. Goal. Um, what else? <clears throat> right. There is so many uh, use cases in each organization. There are uh, mainly using uh, text document and uh, spreadsheets, mainly. Mm. And um, so uh, all of the many features are needed. Uh, you see uh, maybe with uh, some exchanges that we had in the past. I, I, yeah, I, I'd like to just insist on the collaboration feature. And uh, obviously, they, they are waiting for uh, performance and uh, and uh, reliability also. But uh, yeah, that's why maybe they are satisfied. Excellent. Cool. Uh, Robert Riemann has a question here. He says, how many simultaneous documents or viewers can your setup for 70,000 people sustain? I don't know if you have statistics on that or what, what your uh, load factors are. Because it's, it's, it's I, often a comment, isn't it? You know, like uh, not everybody logs in at once. Not everyone turns every device in their kitchen on at once. Yeah. If they do, the electricity fails. So, so it, it, but, but this in practice never happens. So it'd be just nice to know what diversity I, I, factors there are there. I think I remember uh, that uh, the university, the Lille University, um, had uh, 400. Uh, users simultaneously. Okay. And the, the rest are uh, rest are studying uh, studying in their beds or uh, you know. <laughs> this kind yes. of thing. Yeah, but you know, uh, simultaneously, it's uh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's good, a, uh, a good number. Hmm. Does that help, Robert? How, how many are you looking for, or what is your what is your use case there? And do do talk if you uh, if you're on that unmute. That's that's fine. Excuse me. Uh, I was just wondering if Robert wanted to speak instead of typing. He likes to type, but well, that's fine. You know, either is good. But uh, just interested in his use case there. Hundred use case there. Hundred and fifty. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, 